Systemic lupus erythematosus SLE, is a chronic autoimmune disease of unknown cause that can affect virtually any organ of the body. Patients present with variable clinical features ranging from mild joint and skin involvement to life-threatening kidney, hematologic, or central nervous system involvement. There are five types of lupus. Systemic lupus erythematosus SLE, is the most common type of lupus. Childhood onset SLE. Cutaneous lupus erythematosus include discoid lupus is limited to the skin. 5% or more of the people with this form of lupus may develop SLE later in life. Neonatal lupus may affect babies of women with certain autoantibodies. A mother who gives birth to a child with neonatal lupus may not have lupus herself. Usually neonatal lupus involves only the baby's skin and subsides on its own, even without treatment. However, 1-2% of infants may experience congenital heart block, which can be treated by the implantation of a pacemaker. Drug-induced lupus is temporary and usually subsides within months of the time that the medication is stopped. In this video we will focus on systemic lupus erythematosus. The prevalence of lupus is 20 to 150 cases per 100,000. Prevalence in female sex is up to 15 times more than male sex. The disease appears to be more common in urban than rural areas. Prevalence is higher among Asian, African American and Hispanic American individuals compared with white individuals. Disease inset is usually between the ages of 16 and 55. The etiology of lupus remains unknown and is considered multifactorial include a role for genetic, hormonal, immunologic, and environmental factors. Constitutional symptoms such as fatigue, fever, myalgia and weight loss are present in most patients with systemic lupus erythematosus at some point during the course of the disease. Other major symptoms include Arthritis and arthralgias are often one of the earliest manifestations. Skin, the most common lesion is butterfly rash that presents as erythema over the cheeks and nose. Some patients may develop discoid lesions, which have a tendency to scar. Photosensitivity is also a common manifestation. Cardiac involvement and vascular manifestations include involvement of the pericardium, myocardium, valves, conduction system, and coronary arteries. Pericarditis is the most common cardiac manifestation. Raynaud phenomenon, spasms of blood vessels in response to cold temperatures or stress that causes decreased blood flow to the fingers. Vasculitis, inflammation of blood vessels. Kidney involvement lupus nephritis is clinically apparent in approximately 50% of patients and is a significant cause of morbidity and mortality. Gastrointestinal involvement. Pulmonary involvement. Neurologic and neuropsychiatric involvement, including stroke, seizures, cognitive dysfunction, and psychosis. Hematologic abnormalities include anemia, leukopenia, and thrombocytopenia. Eyes involvement, keratoconjunctivitis sicca, dry eyes, is the most common manifestation as a result of secondary Sjogren's syndrome, a syndrome which caused decreased tears and saliva production which results in dry eyes and dry mouth. Antiphospholipid syndrome, which can cause blood clots to form in arteries and veins. The diagnosis of lupus is generally based on clinical and laboratory findings after excluding alternative diagnoses. Laboratory blood testing include routine tests and special tests. The routine tests include complete blood count and differential that may reveal anemia, leukopenia, and or thrombocytopenia. Elevated serum creatinine may be suggestive of kidney dysfunction. Urinalysis may reveal proteinuria. Special tests include ANA test which is positive in virtually all patients with lupus at some time in the course of their disease. Anti-double-stranded DNA, anti-DSDNA, are seen in approximately 70% of patients. Antiphospholipid antibodies, lupus anticoagulant, anticardiolipin antibodies, and anti-beta-2 glycoprotein, which are positive in APLA syndrome. Seriactive protein, CRP, which indicates inflammation in the body. Definite diagnose is based on medical criteria such as the ACR criteria which require at least 4 of 11 criteria.
Other criteria are the SLIC criteria and the Euler criteria. The goals of therapy for lupus are to achieve remission or low disease activity, prevent organ damage, minimize drug toxicity, and improve quality of life. Treatment of SLE is individualized based upon patient preferences, clinical manifestations, disease activity and severity, and comorbidities. Mild disease is treated with hydroxychloroquine, plaquenil. Moderate and severe disease are treated with prednisone or immunosuppressive agents, azathioprine, imuran, belimumab, venlista, anafrolumab, safnalo, mycophenolate, celsep, and cyclophosphamide, cytoxin. Lupus can run a very clinical course, ranging from a relatively benign illness to a rapidly progressive disease with fulminant organ failure and death. Patients have higher mortality rates than that of the general population but with close follow-up and treatment, 80 to 90 percent of people with lupus can expect to live a normal lifespan. Want to know more? Watch my channel.